Camus come? on his stay um, quite a bit on the place and off the, no. Uh, and off of it. And I want to show you what to do when he breaks like that. So um, what I'm doing is when he gets up, if I haven't told him he can get up, I'm telling him no, that's the first thing I say, and I'm actually tapping his remote when I say no, and I continuously keep tapping it until I get him back in his original position, whether that is on a place in a down position or just in a sit in the um, original spot that I put him in. And then I don't stop tapping until I get him in that position. So once I do, I stop. Um, Initially, I was rewarding him because I didn't want him to be afraid of the e-collar, but I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just replacing him. And you can see that he has gotten the idea down pretty well. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of work on stay with my two dogs' distractions here inside. Um, we've been working on it outside as well. It's just harder to videotape out there. Good boy. Good place, Archer. Good boy. treats for Camus just to use her as a distraction. Um, I'm treating Archer because he's making the correct choice. Archer, stay. This is going to be a hard one. Nope. Ah, ah. Sit. Stay. Camus. Good. Now I'll let him, see how he's kind of moving his position a little bit, but he's still on his bed. I'm going to allow that as long as he's still on his bed. Um, now, originally I put him in a sit position and he laid down to get more comfortable. That's okay with me. However, if I had put him in a sit and he stood up to go get the treat, um, I would want to put him back in the sit position. But if he gets more comfortable, that's okay. Canvas. Good boy, Archer. Good choice. So there's a brief little 
display on stay. Let me explain the language of the e-collar to you because it can be a little complicated. Um, so I mentioned in the first video that we went through and classically conditioned him to three marker words. The e-collar has also been conditioned to be a marker. It's just not a, one that you can hear. It's, it's a, a textural or, or a, a touch sensation. So what I did is, yes, good boy. Um, I found the lowest level archer can feel, which is a six inside on my unit. On your unit, it's going to be a little different. But on this unit, it's a six. And what I did is I would tap and treat him every time I would tap. So you saw there that as soon as he felt the collar, he turned around and faced me because he knows that either means to come to me and, and you'll get a reward or he'll pay attention to your handler. Um, unless you've been told to stay and then it means to pay attention to your stay command. So what I did is I would tap and treat him. Oh, Archer here, this is yours. Good boy. So every time he feels that tap, he's expecting a reward. The next step that I did is I would let him get distracted kind of like he is now. I'd go for a walk, let him face away from me. When he was not paying attention to me, which wasn't hard to do, I would start rhythmically tapping, kind of like what I did with stay. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so I rhythmically tap and I had him on a leash initially and what I would do is I would slowly back up while tapping the whole time. And as soon as he would turn and face me, I would stop tapping, say yes and reward him. So this little pulsing signal on the collar either means to turn around and come towards whoever his handler is, or if you use it in the stay application, you're only using it when he breaks a stay. So it's go back to doing what you should be doing or pay attention to your handler. Um, there's one more way you're going to use the collar, and that is primarily just as a punisher, and you're only going to do that for digging, for barking if he ignores your quiet command, but I give him a quiet command first to give him the benefit of the doubt, and um, for bolting out the door, which we'll work on in our lesson. But other than that, everything is going to be in a rhythmic pattern. So think of it as like a hot potato, cold potato kind of game. So if he gets off his stay, collar comes on. He goes back to where he should go, collar goes away again. If I call him and he ignores my recall command, my hear, then the collar comes on. And I keep repeating, no, here, 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 until he comes. Collar comes off as soon as he starts heading my way. So it's a communication device. This is your cell phone to Archer. Around 